All right, welcome in everybody. Today we're gonna to be going over your form part two. So this is gonna be a very interactive workout that we do with each other. More of not necessarily a workout, you will be working out, but it's definitely gonna be more for form, okay? So what you're gonna need for today is, if you've got your barbell, this is what you're gonna need. And I would prefer that it doesn't have weight on it, uh, just so that we are safe while working with the form movement, okay? So let me know when you're in and you've got your barbell ready to go so we can go ahead and start our form series. So this is one of four parts that we go into with the members to be able to help them learn how to use the correct form while lifting weights so we can get better results, okay? And um, also, I am going to be doing the winners for our July challenge. So super excited if you're here and you're ready to find out who those winners are. So if you participated, make sure to stay around for us picking those winners at the very end. And also, August challenge is going to be starting this Sunday. So if you're wanting that calendar, go ahead and comment calendar down below, and I'll make sure to send you that calendar for you get it, to get started. All right? All right, so go ahead and just find your message button now and let me know when it, you're ready. If you've got your barbell in hand, you're all ready and set up, we're gonna be going over the correct ways on how to lift this barbell together. Now, I can't see you today, but if we had one-on-one -on -one coaching, I'd be able to kind of like walk through this one-on-one -on -one with you to kind of go over that a little bit more. But let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just waiting for those comments now. Are you ready for today? Hello, hello, welcome in. And if you're watching this live, say live. And if you're watching this on replay, say replay. Um, also, it's great to kind of get to know each other. So I'm Coach Danita from Southern Utah. Where are you guys from? And tell me your name. All right, let's get started. So my favorite thing is really honestly when you're working with the barbell that there's a sense of like when you do it correctly, a sense of empowerment that starts to come over. It's like this very beautiful feeling of confidence when you know you're doing it right. Because oftentimes we can be doing it wrong and then it can lead us to being like, what, wait a minute. And then we don't work out because we don't have that confidence, right? So let's get confident today. All right, we got lives in here and we have got Gail from Texas. What's up, Texas? Looks like we got some New Yorkers in the house as well. Awesome, we got California in the house. All right, let's party. So if you guys are ready and you got your barbell in hand, let's go ahead and dive into it. So the first thing is just learning how to pick this barbell up correctly. All right, so a common mistake that I see is that we have the barbell out here and whether we're at the gym or at home, we're picking this barbell up where it's far away. And what that's doing is putting a torque on our low back. So I always think about having the weight of the midline of my body. So the closest you are to the weight is gonna be the best way to pick it up. Now we have a very funny saying here at Booty Bands and it's called butt down, boobs up. That's how we pick things up. So that is definitely our little motto we have here. So let's go into some of the correct form. So when you go to your barbell, I think of about hip distance apart I think that toes are always like slightly out in my, what feels comfortable for my knees. My hands go onto the outside of my legs and then you have to have that flexibility in order to really have that booty down. And then when the butt's down and the boob is up, that's when we're gonna pick it up so that the legs are doing the work, not the back. So we wanna avoid picking it up like this because again, that's hitting this back. So any rounding here, no, none of that. All right, so let's do it about five to 10 times with each other now. Let's get used to picking up that barbell together because trust me, that will make it look like you're either knowing what you're doing or not what you're doing. <sighs> Breathing, so don't hold your breath. Nice, good, tight cores, you're doing this movement with me. But as simple as butt down, boobs up, that's how we pick things up. I don't think you'll ever forget that now. All right, all right, next one is our, how we get that barbell and how we actually pick up that barbell now goes into what's called a clean and press. So this will be utilized if we ever want to put that barbell over our shoulders or if we're ever wanting to lift it for any reason or maybe we want to lift it up and put it on a squat rack. A lot of reasons, okay? So, all right, let's go ahead and dive into the next one is going to be 
how we lift that barbell. So the first step to this is just an upright row. So your, your hands are about shoulder distance apart. Your knees are soft and your core is tight. From here, I roll my shoulders down and back and lock them into my back. So my lats right here are being strong to hold my arms in place. And I'm just going to lift the elbows nice and high. Very important that the elbows are high. You'll notice that this is important because look how close that barbell is to my body when I'm lifting it versus if my elbows are down, now the bar goes out here. And if we've got a lot of weight on it, guess what's gonna happen right here? You got it. So we want to keep that barbell nice and close to our body. So give me about five to 10 of these. Soft knees, core tight, and elbows go straight up to the ceiling. And once we feel that, and we're doing it correctly, we're also getting a great arm and shoulder workout right here, then we're going to go into the clean. All right, so basically what you're doing here is you're just going to flip that wrist, and so your goal is to put the elbows right underneath the bar. All right, so try that with me. So, upright row, get under the bar. Okay, do it again, upright row. Notice that my elbows are high, elbows go low. Do it again, elbows up, elbows go down. Now a common mistake is that if our elbows are down, right, that's what's happening. So if we go elbows up, now that bar is so close to my body. So imagine taking your shirt off with that bar and if you are taking the shirt off, then you're doing it right. <laughs> Love it. All right, so now that we have that part down, then pretty easy. We go into our press. We can put it up on our back, or we can just bring it down or whatever. All different things we can do. All right, so now let's put it all together. So we're going to go into our upright row. We're going to clean. We're going to press. Bring it back down. In order to bring it down from here, we have to bring those elbows up over the bar so that it stays close to our body. And a lot of people miss that step. So either your elbows are up or your elbows are down, one of the two, but they're never gonna be tucked into your side when you're trying to bring it down. So that is where the weight is gonna to be too far away from your body. So make sure that you're doing that. All right, so give that, a, give that a go. Let's go ahead and do that about five times with each other now, ready? Elbows up, elbows down, press. Back down, elbows come up over the bar and slowly lower it down. Four more. Good, two more, elbows up, elbows down, press, back down, bring those shoulders up over the, bring those elbows up over the bar and bring it down. And if you really wanna see if you're doing it right, look in a mirror and make sure that that bar is as close to your body as humanly possible, okay? Great job. All right, so now let's go ahead and go over um, one of my most favorite, favorite of squats, all right? There's a couple different ways, um, and I'm gonna show you for squats today. It's just like a, a dumbbell for this one. So different areas of squats that personally I love and are my favorite is being able to adjust accordingly. So check this out. So if we have our chest lifted in our squats, and if you do this with me, you'll notice that what it does is it puts the activation more in your quads. So if you've ever felt like you're quad dominant, it's probably because you've been lifting your chest like this. Now, if we wanted to work more of the glutes, notice how I'm bringing my torso down. I can extend my booty out further, and now I'm into the glutes. Big difference, my chest is no longer lifted. It's more at a diagonal. All right, so now that changes it, so I'm here. Next is gonna be our sumo squats. Those are nice and wide. This is gonna be working the inner thighs. So your torso is about mid, so it can be at a little up but in diagonal, whatever feels best for you. Keeping that core tight, now you're feeling those inner thighs. So how great is it that you can be working quads, booty, and inner thighs by just a little bit of your foot placement 
and your torso placement. So let's try it together and let's see if you can feel it, okay? Here's the first one. Lift the chest up, shoulders go back, core is tight. Try to keep that head going straight up towards the ceiling. I feel it mostly in my quads, front of my legs. Let's go two more. You're doing good. All right, now let's get into the booty. Go ahead and drop the torso and just push it back. So you want all of your weight into your heels right here. Think of instead of going down, I want you to think of going back and then down. Like you're sitting into an imaginary chair behind you. And your torso is diagonal, or even you could even, if you wanted to, go even parallel, okay? Feel that one? Good. All right, next one, we're gonna go into those sumos with each other. Let's try these ones. Shoulders back, core tight, going into there. So notice that if you don't have a wide enough stance, you might feel yourself more in your toes. So make a little wider stance so you can feel your push is through your heels. And if you're feeling your inner thighs, then you're doing it right. Hey, look at our form check today. All the different things that we can learn. Whew, I'm already out of breath now. All right, so great job on form. Now that is part two. We do have on part two, there's about five more exercises that we go together if we're in the coaching one-on-one. -on -one. So if you're interested in learning more form with a coach, go ahead and just comment coach down below so that if you need more assistance and you want us to look at your form so we can pass you off, so you can get that confidence to improve your workouts, okay? Go ahead and comment coach down below. All right, so let's dive into, let's dive into, um, the winners. You guys ready for this? So we had some amazing contestants that were doing absolutely amazing for their July workouts. I'm so impressed with you guys. Your before and afters, but not only just your body, the beautiful part is really being able to also improve your mindset. So letting go of those restrictions, letting go of the all in, all out, those really extreme ways that we've been taught and being able to go into something that's a lot healthier. All right, let's go ahead and pick the winners now. All right, so if you participated in the July challenge, go ahead and comment down below. I wanna see all my beautiful contestants, see if they're in here today. Yay, yay, yay. All right, so this first one, we got three prizes that are gonna be going out for the July challenge. We are going to be starting the August challenge this Sunday. So if you want the calendar, make sure to comment calendar below so we can get you that calendar all set up. Okay. All right, here we go. So the first one is going to be a free container of either our vanilla or chocolate protein powder. I used to think that protein was going to be just for maybe after a workout, or even at that point I thought, well, even if I work out and have a protein shake, that's just more calories. And boy, did we get that wrong. Protein is such a great way to build that lean muscle, to then speed your metabolism, to then burn your fat. So don't think about calories if we're trying to sculpt and tone, all right? All right, let's go ahead and see who won that protein powder. Mary! Mary Martinez, congratulations, girl. You did amazing. And she's also in the accountability program and seeing phenomenal results with Coach Opal and myself. So great job, Mary. Loved it. Great job on posting. You're probably, I mean, no wonder why you probably won because you posted a ton, which gives you more points into my jar right now, okay? All right, let's go to the next one. You guys ready? All right, congrats, Mary. See all the congratulations that are happening. The second place winner is going to be getting a $50 gift card to the bootybands.com store. You guys ready? Let's see who she is. Who won the $50 gift card? Abby Jude. Woo, woo. Abby Jude is also in the accountability program. 
and she is kicking booty. If you guys don't Abby Jude, <clears throat> she has gone, I think, from like a size 16 <coughs> to now working on a size 8. She's now at a size 10, and it's so cool to see her transformation. So great job, Abby. <coughs> wow, I've been talking a lot tonight. Whew. All right, next one, you guys ready for the grand finale? So this one is going to win a total of a month into our exclusive one-on-one -on -one accountability program. So whoever this is, get ready because you're going to work alongside a coach that's going to be an expert to fast track you to your goals by making sure that it's not this random, what do I do experience, but really help you specifically on what it is that you need to do. Oh, Miranda, what's up Miranda? So you get another month free into your coaching program. So she's already in it, so we'll give her another month free. So great job, Miranda. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna grab some water. Oh my gosh. Whew. <clears throat> All right, great job, girls, for doing the July challenge. Now, if you're interested in joining our August challenge with us, what you're going to do is um, go ahead and just comment calendar below. I'll be posting the calendar as soon as I get that from my team, and I will make sure that the entire community gets that calendar um, if you comment calendar somewhere in the Facebook group when I'm posting it this on um, the next couple of days, okay? So go ahead and comment calendar below if you do want that August calendar that we're going to be starting this Sunday. I know it's pretty quick. It creeped up on us. <laughs> All right, so August calendar. And what do you guys need for the August calendar or August challenge? Um, your weights, your bands, uh, your fun energy. Get ready to join this beautiful community of empowerment women so we can support you to your best and, and really help you with your goals. So a great way is to always just kind of reignite that motivation and what a great way for challenges and rewards at the very end. And so when you download the Booty Bands and Barbells app, it allows you to get all of that in there in the challenge, okay? So if you haven't joined yet, make sure to just comment calendar and we'll make sure to get you in there. That'll be a great way to get you in. Beautiful. And if you are wanting to also join the challenge and get a coach alongside you, working with you, so that you're also able to not only get results, but sustainable results, comment coach down below and I'll have a coach reach out to you and see if you're a fit for one-on-one -on -one coaching. Okay. Awesome. So I see all those calendars coming up. Yay, yay, yay. Congratulations to all the winners tonight. Uh, really, really beautiful to see your transformations, not only your body, but also the emotional, the mindset, you as a holistic person, uh, 180, being able to flip that life around, see sustainable results. That's what we pride ourselves here at Booty Bands is that you're not gaining this weight back. We allow our muscles to speed our metabolism, to gain control over this yo-yo experience so that we start to feel and look our best. So great job today, you guys. A big shout out to those that um, I've had about four or five members already in the accountability that have already dropped their uniform sizes. So you know who you are. I just wanted to give a big shout out to you. Um, also for those that are losing about half, we've seen half an inch to at least an inch gone in their waist just this week from those members. So you know who you are. Congratulations. Um, and see a couple other celebrations. We've been doing rewards, and so you've been setting up your goals, doing rewards. We've been working all really hard on our form this week, and I've been very impressed with your form. So great job. I just wanted to make a big shout out to you. You guys know who you are. You're showing up for yourself, and it's showing. So great job, you guys. Absolutely loved it. You have an amazing rest of your evening, and I'll see you guys next week, same time, same place, and also in the August challenge, too. All right? Bye, everyone. Have a good night.